Hello everyone. Good morning, good morning everyone. Welcome to IQI Phuket weekly talk. My name is Supa. I am a head of IQI Phuket. Today, uh, I will I will sharing with you the very good topic. Uh huh. Normally, uh, we will have weekly talks every uh, Thursday of the week. Uh, at around 10 a.m. Thailand time. So in our uh, life, we in our program, we usually talk about you know property in Thailand, uh, and property in Phuket, and also update about Thailand, about Phuket, mm-hmm. overall about uh, our uh, Thailand country and also Phuket city because I'm based in Phuket. So today topic we will you know uh, share with you uh, the simple how to how expect. Uh, move to Thailand for like a long-term stay or for like uh, um, for like permanent uh, retiree or for uh, or even for the visitors so we will share some uh, good tips and uh, uh, some uh, useful information for you so uh, if you don't want to miss any of our live session please follow us on our page and also youtube channel so let's start from uh moving to thailand or um or like uh if you like to uh retire in thailand so you may you may want to know how many is there many expat living in thailand or a is it good to living in thailand so as a number it's difficult to identify because you know some uh, people move to thailand with you know undocumented or like <laughs> robin hood especially our neighbor <laughs> but uh if uh, you talk about like uh, um people who moving like uh, legally uh, as of uh, this year, we have over like three to four million expat moving to Thailand. Yes, so this uh, number is uh, roughly. Mm. And if you uh, want to move to Thailand, where should you stay, and where good place to for expat to to stay for long term? Yeah. Um, 
so this year is uh, many expats move to Thailand uh, as of uh, today you know they around like I said uh, three to four million about 3.6 million immigrants live in Thailand as of uh, 2022 here so increase uh, every year this year increase uh, around 5.2 percent uh -huh, of population moving to uh, uh, Thailand so the city or the place that expect uh, is fa famous or popular place for expect to shoot for their long like long uh, long stay or home uh, permanent home or retiree actually is major cities of course uh, number one is Bangkok our uh, capital cities yeah, Bangkok, and then uh, there are some big city like Pattaya, Chiang Mai, and Phuket. Also, some like uh, island uh, of southern part of Thailand, which is Phuket and Samui, and also another small island. But majority, is, uh, most of immigrants or expat uh, choose to live in Bangkok. Yes. So how you get around uh, live in Bangkok in terms of language? The people or uh, our uh, as a Thai, we are we 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 speak basic uh, English in the school, starting from a primary school. But uh, like uh, uptown or outside of Bangkok or outside of a big city, you might have challenge to get around or uh, you know to. Uh, to communicate with locals so but it's kind of fun because Thai people are very very easy going and uh, when they understand they smile they always, when they don't understand they also smile so <laughs> it's very friendly uh, culture we we have here in Thailand and I'm, I'm very proud of uh, our uh, country yes um, what What's next? So, uh, moving to big city Bangkok and also Phuket. Mostly, the reason is uh, some people want to um, move the family from the big city from the uh, uh, expensive country because uh, this after the pandemic situation you might notice that uh, Southeast Asia is top destination for many many countries in Western and Europe so uh, it, mostly people move for like a school or uh, move children to international school in Thailand here and uh, also um, want to invest in uh, Thailand our law and regulation to start work or have a job or start your business in in our kingdom here is more like you know it's not easy but uh, you have to follow the uh, step from our government that uh, is mm, you know more resilient and easy to apply for like uh, um business permit and also the visa is uh, we do have a you know a fast lane if you don't want to deal dealing with a big uh, like so many documentation we also have a like a elite visa where you can just pay and then you get service like a five star yeah and uh, our uh, weather in Thailand the weather in Thailand is uh, generally hot <laughs> and different hot uh, in in the state you might have hot and dry and here we are hot and humid especially um, if you are li living on the island so you experience hot and humid most of uh, year round but then we do have like a rainy season uh, winter is winter is mostly uh, we do have in the north part of, Thai, of in the north part of country. So, for example, in Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, or like uh, Bangkok. Bangkok did, nowadays we don't experience a very very uh, cold uh, temperature. Phuket, uh, where I am here, uh, since I've been here, uh, I experience like 
17 Celsius degree, which is very, very cold here in uh, the cold, coldest uh, temperature in Phuket. Other than that, we have we have uh, dry season or hot season and uh, rainy season. So considering rainy season around uh, eight months in Phuket, and then we have summer uh, for the rest four months. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, I talk about good, good summer like uh, dry season and summer season, which is starting from like uh, uh, December until end of March. Like uh, end of March, so the temperature is good. The, the the thing that I like about my country is also you know we are in tropical country, so we have so many uh, uh, good uh, fruit, good uh, food as well. And I feel like so many people are moving to Thailand, they enjoy, you know, uh, our food. For example, uh, our top dishes is, uh, you know, Tom Yam Kung and also Pad Thai, something like that, right? Uh, and many foreigners are, uh, you know, love our food. And I have to tell you that Thai, we are, uh, like very spicy dishes so if you talk about spicy or if you order uh, food you have to be aware that uh, not order too spicy because thai people eat especially in southern part of thailand they eat uh, very spicy <laughs> yeah uh, talking about food and fruit we are in tropical country so we have so many uh, fruit come like uh, fresh fruit in each season so if you like to eat uh, fresh uh, enjoy eating uh, fresh fruit so you have to uh, look at the season um, our king of fruit here yes, you might have heard of the the king of fruit in Thailand so if you uh, come to you if you come to Thailand uh, especially Chinese people love our king of fruit which is durian <laughs> many people can't stand the smell but this is our this is the you know king of fruit in thailand <laughs> yeah um for the for the transportation transportation wise so in different uh city uh slightly different so mostly uh if you like to drive in our country, we are have a steering wheel on the left hand side. So if you're moving from Western and also Europe, you might uh, get uh, uh, you know have to get used to it. And in a big city like Bangkok, our transportation system is quite good, and you can uh, catch the sky train, uh, underground train, and also uh, uh, bus, and also they have public transportation uh, to serve it in Bangkok. But then if you go to um, uh, another city outside of Bangkok or like, for example, Chiang Mai and Phuket Island and uh, Pattaya, there, there are, another, there, especially Phuket here, our public transportation is getting improved, improved, but uh, still not enough to, you know, rely on, <laughs> but mostly uh, here, to the expat or tourists that they have their own vehicle like their own car or they have the driver for themselves um, many expat uh, try to uh, uh, solve the transportation uh, problem in Phuket by using motorbike um, I encourage you that you have to have a driving license or international driving license especially the license here in Phuket is different motorbike license is another thing and also car uh, car license driving license for cars so it's two different things so then you might get stopped by uh, our officer uh, so and also you have to follow the the, the traffic rule mm. and driving motorbike in on the island uh you have to be really really careful so uh would recommend you to use a taxi or you know you have uh hire the car rental or um driver for your uh your own safety until you get used to our uh drive uh driving habit mm. 
in terms of a uh, visa uh, i will sharing the simple way uh, of visa that uh, if you're moving to thailand for a long-term stay uh, there's so many different uh, way to get a visa and uh, some if you don't uh, most mostly people come for like uh, tourist visa right which is uh, if you apply in advance uh, you can stay up to 90 days or three months and after that you have uh, or you have to do the visa land as well but if you're moving for like long-term stay uh, they are like uh, uh, invest invest visa and also in the near future if you are in west over like 40 million Thai baht, you are you are uh, you are also uh, qualified to get uh, to own a piece of land in Thailand. As you may know that uh, in our kingdom, uh, as a foreigner, we're not allowed to you're not allowed to own uh, landed property or land in Thailand. So in the future, uh, our government uh, decided to boost the property market or economy by you know if you invest if as a foreigner if you are invest 40 million Thai baht you are uh, qualified to get around 1600 square meter of piece of land in your own name and this is not everywhere in the country uh, only specific uh, prov province or like uh, city for example uh, visit, uh, for example, like tourist city like Bangkok, Chiang Mai, Phuket. So, uh, and it's uh, already approved, but in the practical, we have to wait uh, for uh, quite some time. So, we'll update you about the uh, investment later in the next uh, time. And what else? Uh, visa for. Uh, long-term visa you is the easy way to apply uh, to if, if you don't want to get dress or hustle or headed with the document and uh, the step you might uh, just pay for elite visa so starting package from like five years ten years then yeah uh, you can choose your own package to suit your own needs yeah uh, okay uh, what else in terms of education or international school on it, in our uh, Thailand here? We do have so many uh, international school in the major city, in Chiang Mai, in Pattaya, Bangkok, Phuket. Yeah, and also um, the healthcare. We do have uh, basic health care for Thai nationalities uh, under the, uh, what is it, mm, health care system. But as a foreigner, most of uh, foreigners or expats, they, 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 they decided to, to choose the pri private package form like uh, um, Oh, from the international hospital or insurance but uh, if you are a foreigner you have to have insurance to apply for the visa so well that's a basic uh, cover for expect to move moving to thailand moving to the kingdom so thank you very much everyone for uh, <laughs> watching and staying with me until the end and if you don't want to miss any of our live session follow us on our page and also our channel youtube channel so thank you for all your support today see you until next time goodbye <laughs>